Coming up on R&B Reviews, a teen boy is recruited by the military to lead a fight against a potential alien invasion that could wipe out the human race in Ender's Game. If we're going to survive, we need a new kind of soldier. One who doesn't think the way we think. Fear the things we fear. One the enemy would never expect. Hey guys, I'm Rob, and thank you very much for checking out my review for Ender's Game. It's based on the first in a popular series of books by Orson Scott Card, and it's about a character named Ender Wiggins, played by Asa Butterfield, who is sent to a military academy in space, along with some other teens, to prepare for an invasion by aliens who many years earlier tried to wipe out the human race. One of the teens who befriends um, Ender is Petra, played by Haley Steinfeld from True Grit, and Harrison Ford and Viola Davies play commanding officers who recruit Ender. Top test scores in class, highest battle room ratings. But you have a habit of upsetting your commander. I find it hard to respect someone just because they outrank me. I kind of found this film um, adaptation to be a little bit of a mixed bag. When the movie began, I found a future world where teens and kids are kind of forced to grow up fast and be warriors and leaders to be very interesting. And I could not help, as I was watching this movie, think of a childhood that they were kind of being deprived of. When a young character smiles or giggles, the adult leaders are very quick to put them in their place. But at first, I really found the characters, including Ender, to be kind of bland, and at times the scenes would build up to a climax, and then it would just end, and I didn't feel involved in the training scenes at first, because unlike the ones in such films as, let's say, Harry Potter or Hunger Games, you know enough about the characters' personalities that they hope that they succeed because you spent so much time with them at the beginning, but I really didn't feel that at first. But then, when the film got to the middle, that's when, for me, things began to change. Ender was sent to a team led by a character named Bonzo, who is roughly the same age as Ender, but he behaves like this very strict, arrogant adult, and he really takes a dislike to Ender, so you kind of see some conflict developing there. And the Petra character was also introduced, and her compassion for Ender was also what brought me into the film. Suddenly, I felt involved in the story and characters, and I really felt on the edge of my seat as I saw Ender grow over the course of the film, as well as see the stress, both emotional and physical, um, you know, affecting him. Drone. They're swarming. They see us. Open fire! He's gonna crush him. My car fired directly up into the ice. Now! Harrison Ford and Viola Davies, I thought, did fine with the material that was given to them, but sometimes the monotone performances that they gave, I felt, kind of held them back, because I've seen them do very dramatic stuff throughout their careers uh, in past films. And w But when the two characters disagree on some things, for me, that is when I felt like the actors were given the chance to really, really come alive. The war is over. We can have the luxury of debating the morality of what we do. When it's over, what will be left of the boy? What does it matter if there's nothing left of I also like the different themes that the film incorporates, including working together as a team, uh, nothing gets done if you don't do anything, and even the idea of the military prepping people to be war machines for battle, but fail to see what happens when, you know, these soldiers return from war. And the special effects themselves were pretty good, too. Ender's Game was adapted for the screen by Gavin Hood, who also made X-Men Origins Wolverine, and I know the uh, book's author has made some anti-gay comments resulting in many people calling on a boycott of this film, but I didn't see any of the anti-gay stuff in this movie at all. Actually, the theme of working together, being compassionate, and standing up for yourself is actually very, very strong in this movie. Ender's Game, for me, may not be the best film adaptation of a book series. Like I said, the beginning, for me, just felt a bit rushed. But I think once the film settled down in the middle, I cared about the characters, and I really liked the film, what the film was trying to say. But this, and so, as a result of that, I'm going to give Ender's Game a mild C in theaters rating. All right, well, that's my review of the movie. If you have seen the movie, go, uh, go ahead and post your comments about what you thought of the movie or if you have any feedback for the video. I do greatly appreciate it, and I do read everything you guys send in. So, again, thank you very much for watching.